okay so in the last video we discussed the different types of sandboxes like you have developer sandbox developer pro sandbox partial copy sandbox full copy sandbox when to use what this video will talk about once you create the sandbox from production how can you log in okay so let's look into my screen let's say in the production org okay you have a sandbox uh, sorry in the production org the username and the password through which you log in is let's say username is rajesh at the rate xyz dot com password is rajesh xyz okay let's so i'm trying to explain you how let's say uh, for the first time you as an admin got the production access and then you have to create a sandbox once you create the sandbox you have to log in right once you create the sandbox you have to log in and then you have to onboard other users so that other user also can log in now the question is how can you log in for the, for the first time you don't know the username and password of the sandbox the the sandbox is just created from the production but what is the username and password you, you do not know so i'm going to explain now how can you log in to your sandbox so once your sandbox is created from production or from whatever sandbox see you can create sandbox from either production or uh, from any other sandboxes once you create the sandbox the username of the sandbox would be uh, first of all the sandbox name let's say dev sandbox the name of the sandbox is dev sandbox so the username to log in into the sandbox is would be your same username that you have used in your production dot name of the sandbox and the password would be same as your production you got it right so let me just repeat the process one more time suppose from production environment you have created one sandbox and in the production you have the username which is rajesh at the rate xyz.com password is rajesh xyz to log in to the dev sandbox that you just have created you first have to go to a new url called test.salesforce.com to log in to sandbox you have to go to test.salesforce.com to log in to production you have to go to login.salesforce.com both urls are different once you visit this test.salesforce.com the username to log in inside the sandbox would be the same username dot the name of the sandbox and the password remain same okay so let's say you have total 10 users or 100 user or 1000 user inside the production org and after having those 1000 user you are trying to create a sandbox every single user which is every single active user that is there in the production can log into your sandbox with the same username and password format right so the username dot name of the sandbox and the password remain same and the i mean the url to log in should be test.salesforce.com all right so this is the theoretical way now let me just quickly show you how to log into the sandbox i have already created the sandbox here this is my sandbox okay and how can you rectify whether this is a sandbox or this is a production the way you can rectify whether it's a sandbox or production is always remember you will be there will be sandbox written if it is a sandbox there will be a sandbox written if it is a sandbox okay and the name of the sandbox okay so if i go back to my production org which is this and if i go to all my sandboxes i told you right this production org has total three sandboxes one is real estate development and it's supposed to be d y n o but it is d i n o p a t dev now this is the sandbox which where i have already logged in here you as an admin can actually log in to the sandbox right from here you have seen this login button right okay but i don't have to log in here so the way i can log in is i can go here open a new tab put test.salesforce.com this is the url to log in to your production or sorry sandbox or right and my username to log in to the sandbox is this my my username to log in to the production dot name of the sandbox and my name of the sandbox is what i think it's uh, d i n o p a t dev that's the name of the sandbox correct so this is how i have to give my username and my password password is remain same and then log into the sandbox clear so how to log into the sandbox is crystal clear right once you log into the sandbox this is my now now i have opened two browser okay this is a safari browser where i have logged into my sandbox and this is where i have logged into my production 
see there is no sandbox written so this is production right now i'm going to show you how uh, you know you can deploy the metadata from this particular environment to the sandbox or from sandbox to productions okay uh, so let's talk about this in the next video